Yo, what's up everybody? Wanted to make a video on Dragalia Lost about the new Mercurial Gauntlet. It goes up to level 40 now. It has some great rewards. So this is some truly challenging content as far as DPS check that's brought to you. So I wanted to share with you guys how I'm able to do it without uh, maybe the most optimal team and using a lot of strategy. So if you look at the team I'm able to do it with here. Uh, yeah, I got the four nice DPS characters, but I don't have any uh, five star strength dragons. Uh, none of these guys are over 45 mana circles and none of their weapons are unbound 5.3. So I have a pretty basic setup. I was prepared to upgrade this team uh, if necessary, but I was able to do it without upgrading. So this uh, may, maybe this video can help you, if not get to 40, but uh, get closer. So there's a few key things uh, that I'll talk about and then we'll walk through it clear and uh, you know, you can see. Uh, how it goes from there. So just a few very important things. First thing is Elisan Helper for this strategy is extremely important. And not only that, but you have to check the helper you use. You have to check it that it has 20% strength buff first. That's easy to see. But then you have to go and check its worm prints. And you got to make sure it has the dragon prep print. So if you did not know a helper, its dragon prep can help your main team. Uh, so if you, you should have that on your helper. And then for Elsen, you also want the buff time. So Max Unbound Bellathorna is good. There's some new prints. And I've also seen a combination to get up to 30% buff time in lieu of Dragon. I, I like this setup. But check your Ellie's, and they're most important. And it's also important to understand the iframe works on this boss. He does a clap attack at 45 second, 30 second, and 15 second. It gets altered a little bit depending on when you break it, but that's your core. And you can iframe it. Uh, by doing moves, but it's only the characters that are doing it. So if you time your character and do an attack, he'll he won't take damage or she, but the rest of your AI will. But a helper AI will absorb it for your whole team. So it's important to be able to do that in time when you do it. Uh, I think it's important to control your sword character because they don't force strike uh, when it's not in overdrive. And C2 force strike is probably the best sword combo. So C2 force strike is why I open with Mart. Uh, and then beyond that, team optimization. Uh, which pr having the proper good worm prints, you know, you need eight good prints on your squad. Don't be afraid to use them even if they're not level 100. I know that's a bottleneck for a lot of people. It's most of my prints are level 60 and 70 because I'd rather have all the prints and then just level them up. There's a lot of diminishing return there. Uh, this is also a 60 second fight that's pretty much just a attack uh, training dummy. So DPS sims are actually quite relevant here. I suggest you look at them and uh, determine which is the best team to use. Obviously you want to use strength dragons here because you can basically absorb all the damage. Uh, you start getting 5.3 weapons for the appropriate team. Beyond 45 mana circles is important. And this is really, really end game content. So I'm able to do it without any of this super upgrading stuff. Uh, so I believe you can too. So, so that's a good sign. So let's just walk through a clear here. And uh, again, this is how I do it. So this is level 40. Again, my team, first thing you do is look at your helper. All these Ellie's, only a couple of these Ellie's are good. So I've already known which one, so I've already checked. There's my team. I'll talk a little bit about the strategy here. What works best for me is using the strength buff right at the start. And then I iframe the 45 second and 30 second one. And then at 15 second, I take that damage and let Mart reset everyone's skills. So that's the key to me doing this. Uh, and that works for me. And again, a lot of this is going to be force striking with Mart. So start of the fight, actually start out a little slow here. This isn't a great kill. I'm using the helper ability. Uh, a lot of force striking here. You can see I didn't uh, actually did a full combo there with Sword, which was bad. So it should be force strike, force strike. Uh, you know, C2 force strike, which is a really good combo. There's his clap. Absorb it with the helper ability. Okay, so now I've used two helper abilities, and he's got two more claps to go. Uh, at this point, right before this, I switched to Mim and use Mim's ability, uh, Dragon Transformation, uh, and get ready to use my helper ability again. Boom, helper ability. Okay, so now I'm all out of helper abilities, uh, and it's just basically a DPS race. So switching back to Marth and doing a lot of C2 force strike. Uh, at 15 seconds, this clap is gonna reset everyone's skills. So here it comes, boom, team survives, uh, but everyone get their skill reset. So we're just unloading on the boss at this point. So that's the type of timing that worked for me. Uh, I think I'm able to do this with about six seconds left uh, this time. It looks like I killed it with two seconds left, uh, but a little wiggle room and uh, it's not the most optimal and you could certainly uh, do a lot better. So 
I hope those tips helped. Uh, I think it's important for you to, you know, consider these things. Again, you want to use your LSAN helper. It's very important uh, with the right worm print. So check your LSAN helper and you can add me. Uh, I'm also set up like this for maximum DPS. Know the boss's claps. Sometimes it might make sense for you to take the first one if you have Marth and reset it. Sometimes uh, you want to iframe all three attacks perfectly and keep your team at max health. You can do that. Uh, if you have resounding rendition, rendition or other HP based worm prints, maybe you just iframe all his moves at 45, 30, and 15, and, and that's probably plenty. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, look at the most optimal worm prints and buy some, even if they're not fully upgraded, uh, and go for there. So, good luck, guys. This is how you get Mercurial Gauntlet level 40 wind with my fire team without uh, whale type stuff. I was ready to upgrade this team significantly, and I think I could take up to 50 right now with upgrading it. So yeah, peace out. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. See you.